Hi, welcome to Westmoreland Clean Waste Recycling Center. I bet you're watching this video because you have a TV you don't know what to do with and you want to know if we accept them. Well, you've come to the right place. One of the most popular items we collect is TVs, followed by old computers and other electronics. Over 80% of the phone calls we get and website visits are for TV recycling. What prompted this demand for TV recycling? Well, in 2010, the Pennsylvania legislature passed a law requiring that anything, any device with a screen, any electronics device with a screen of five inches or more, or any computers, or anything that attaches to a computer has to be recycled. And there were several reasons they did this. Uh, the most important reason they did it is because electronics with their circuit boards and TVs uh, with their uh, cathode ray tubes are full of toxic metals and heavy metals that are damaging to the environment and health if they're not properly managed. So the Pennsylvania legislature passed this law requiring that these devices be recycled. There were several other um, uh, issues that the law required uh, to be met uh, as part of this recycling law. One of them was that consumers had to be able to recycle these products at no cost. The other important uh, uh, issue that was addressed in Pennsylvania's law was that any of these products that were recycled had to be handled domestically or in the United States. The reason for that was that for a number of years uh, when uh, electronics um, started to be recycled uh, in Pennsylvania and in other states, and there were companies that were popping up offering electronics recycling, uh, because the electronics contained um, precious metals and other uh, things of value, uh, they were shipping them to countries that were not recycling them properly, uh, which was creating the environmental damage. The, the toxins were uh, escaping into the environment. Uh, there, were, there were children actually that were dismantling these electronics, uh, causing the health problems uh, in the, it, among the children, the populations in these communities. So when the Pennsylvania legislature uh, passed this law, they required that everything be proven that, that it is handled domestically. All these products stay in the United States. Uh, companies that wanted to be involved in the electronics recycling process had to prove that they were capable of recycling, uh, dismantling uh, this equipment and keeping everything in the United States. So those were the very important parts of the, of the law uh, to be met in the electronics recycling um, landscape in Pennsylvania. What the legislature didn't foresee with these requirements, especially with the permitting requirements, was that there ended up to be very few companies that could actually meet those requirements for uh, being able to do this uh, at no cost to the consumer and, and meeting the permit requirements and uh, being able to market the material domestically. Um, so we were very fortunate when we started our uh, electronics recycling program that we were able to partner with one of the few companies uh, in the United States that is able to, to um, uh, prov provide this service. So that's why Westmoreland Cleanways, because we have this partnership with this permitted recycler, is able to offer this service at no cost to the consumer. If someone has a TV or a computer or some other electronic device that they have to recycle, when they come to our facility and pull into the parking lot, the first thing they're going to see is a big yellow sign that says recycling entrance. They will then follow the gravel road to a second sign with a map of the facility. The sign clearly indicates that building 11 is where the electronics are unloaded and this is where they will want to go. Once at building 11, an attendant will wave the customer into the building and have them stop in the first room. From there, staff will unload the customer's vehicle and sort the items into various categories. Unless they have something else to drop off, they can slowly drive out of the building and be on their way. The electronic items are sorted into various categories, uh, TVs, computers, printers, and miscellaneous items that we call e-scrap. And, and it has to do with uh, the ease of packaging uh, is the reason we sort in that way. 
Uh, the first thing we do is cut the cords off of everything because it's dangerous having cords dragging around and tripping over them and it's just easier to handle without the cords. So we put all the cords in a special Gaylord. The Gaylord's a big cardboard box. We put the, the cords into a Gaylord that we've uh, affectionately dubbed the Cord Lord and they are recycled too. They're just easier to handle when they're separated from the other electronics. Printers, things like printers, we keep separate because they're easy to palletize because they're square and they stack easily. That leaves the two big items that we, that we deal with, the TVs and the computers. TVs, and this includes computer monitors too, can be small or large, flat screen or the old style CRT, which stands for cathode ray tube. Some are in wooden consoles like grandma has in her living room, and some are huge rear projection like Uncle Charlie has in his man cave. We get them all. There's no limit on size or quantity that you bring in. We take them all at no charge with a couple of exceptions. TVs and computer monitors have to be whole, intact, and in their original case. Sometimes people bring us the CRT tube from the inside of the casing with some of the circuit boards and wiring broken off. Well, tearing apart a television releases all of the toxins and heavy metals that proper recycling is supposed to safeguard against. So it defeats the purpose. Um, for that reason, we have to charge a $25 environmental hazard fee because it's dangerous for our staff to handle the, the TV that's broken apart at that point, And it's also more difficult for us to properly dispose of. TVs are stacked on pallets, shrink wrapped, and loaded onto trucks for shipment to our processor. From there, each TV is disassembled by hand into its component parts and recycled. CRT tubes and the frames around flat screen TVs are shipped to a processor that smelts the glass, producing glass that can be reused, and lead, which is shipped to a lead acid battery manufacturer. The plastic casings, circuit boards, and wiring are all sent to various recycling plants for further processing. Finally, computers. When our customers bring us anything that contains data, which is the computers, laptops, cell phones, tablets, anything like that, we immediately secure it. We palletize it, wrap it, uh, and secure it in a locked building uh, to keep the data safe. Uh, we don't touch it any further there, here. We make sure that it is, is, again, kept secure until it is shipped to our processor. And once at our processor, the first thing that, th that they do is take the hard drives out and shred them with a special piece of equipment. So you can see electronic recycling is very labor intensive, very costly, but very necessary to keep these toxins and heavy metals out of the environment. We are so fortunate and so pleased to be able to offer this service to our residents in Westmoreland County and basically throughout Western Pennsylvania. Anybody that wants to come visit us, we're able to help them properly recycle their electronics.